right, YouTube. Been playing with the uh, the portable solar thing that I put together a few weeks ago. If you didn't um, see the video, feel free to pause this, open up a new tab, and find the video with this case in it. Um, but I'll cut straight to the chase. Won't give you the, the story. I wanted something that was portable um, to take sort of uh, like long weekends or or days out with radios um, to power like a small CB amateur radio. Um, run lights, charge your phone. I know a little bit of a power thing. There were a lot of uh, solar panels on the market, charge systems that you can buy. But I've got a lot of crap lying around, and the last thing I want to do is buy more crap. I'm more into, you know, making stuff, experimenting, playing around, and, um, you know, reusing the crap that you've got, so chucking it out and buying more stuff. Um, there's enough of that going on in the world, you know, landfills, killing the planet, you know, mass producing stuff that don't get used, so, anyway, right. So I had this uh, 1.5 watt, 12 watt solar panel left over from a project years ago, I wanted to reuse that. So I put this case together, if you saw the other video, it's an old makeup case. Put a voltmeter on there, cigarette lighter, and I had a, one of these big electric mobile uh, mobility scooter batteries. You know, like a, you're getting a bell box for an alarm. Um, but I wasn't happy with it. Uh, I knew there'd be good enough power there to obviously run a, a radio. Um, but weight weight was a big problem. Uh, I've took the 12 volt battery out before for like days and weekends with the radio. Works brilliantly, but it does you know does weigh a little bit. So. Right, before I get to see what I've done, it's still a work in prog progress. You'll see there's a cigarette lighter, dust, waterproof seal, well, water resistant. A uh, little voltmeter, these charged. We'll explain it in a minute. In the top, got a couple of little torches. These are uh, cycle ones, they're great. For what's your tent and so on. My little uh, USB phone charger. And in here, I've got the uh, 12 volt lead to charge the um, the solar chargers I've got. One in my dugout bag and one in my EDC. Um, just little solar phone chargers, but you can charge them from the wall socket at home or through the car. So I've got them in there. I've got um, some USB um, LED lights. And uh, these are great because went camping in a, in a free pod um like eight man tent and these were sufficient lights to light up the entire tent and some usb extension leads and a four-way for usb so there's plenty of lights there there's torches light, lights the lot and 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 just chucked in one of these with rechargeable batteries and um, just as like an extra light i do want it in the top but it doesn't actually fit with the lid closed and then i've got this three-way adapter with a usb so i can charge phones run lights uh, various things you know, from USB and 12 volt adapter. So that's all good. But the big thing I did, obviously, was took out the big battery that filled it up. And I've got that grey thing there. That's got 10 AA batteries. Um, they're only 800 milliamps. Um, as you can see, the box is second hand. Half of that's makeup. The other half is sawdust from drilling the holes. Um, so yeah, I've lost a lot of weight, lost a lot of power. But... Uh, the 1.5 watt solar panel, um, you know, would take a whole day of good sunlight to charge up the uh, the battery. Um, so obviously it charges up these um, 800 milliamp batteries a lot quicker. I've got 2,800 milliamp batteries or whatever, big heavy ones, but um, I keep them for obviously high power devices like uh, handheld radios. Um, otherwise they just go flat when you uh, transmit in no time at all. Um, this is only to obviously charge your phone, you know, it takes half an hour to charge your phone or run LED lights and the LED lights will run, yeah, they'll run uh, all night. Ironically, my phone's just gone flat, <laughs> so it should really stick on charge. So that's the update. I've took away the uh, the big 12 volt battery for weight and replaced it with 10 1.3 volt rechargeable batteries. As I say, only 800 milliamps, but again, that's probably a quarter of the weight, uh, the 2,800 or whatever it is, milliamp batteries would be. Um, so it's half the power of the decent rechargeable batteries, but obviously half the weight. So the thing now, I can put it in the Bergen and without having to worry about weight. Um, and it'll still run, obviously the LED lights and still charge. Plus, the important thing is, um, it will charge up a lot quicker. Uh, the refresh rate, if I run it flat, this will 
I haven't tested it yet, but it will charge up a lot quicker, these batteries. Um, then, um, then obviously the small 12 volt battery. This is what I was saying before. It's 11.7 uh, volts. Does need a charge, but they were 6.3 volts yesterday. Um, and I had that in front of my desk lamp, my halogen lamp, for a few hours. So I charged them off my desk lamp last night. So that's the update for the little solar box. This is just for camping, like with the missus and kids. We can charge our phones off there, run the lights, you know, in and out of the tent. Um, just just to free up the uh, the ever solar thing that I take with me, or if I'm going out while camping, uh, doing a lot of recording, or uh, obviously to power CBs uh, for any net I'm involved in, or uh, you know, if I want to take the any, well, any radio out ready, I can run a 12 volt radio straight off that, or a couple of things on there. I uh, probably wouldn't run the lin linear. I reckon uh, the big battery lasts about four hours, so I wouldn't run, run any any high power, like the 10 amp I've got for it. 10 amp burner. Um, just be happy with the four watts on the radio. But yeah, I mean, I can store in there crap loads of stuff now. The battery took up the whole, well, half this area here. Um, but now I can get, you know, a lot more in there. So um, this world of makeup stuff would have gone, like brushes and lipstick and stuff. So I'm just going to slowly fill that up with uh, accessories, maybe some spare batteries, a couple of other torches, uh, whatever. But the main thing is now it's it's, it's a hell of a lot lighter. Um, that will fit in the top of my Bergen. I can shut the lid on the Bergen, so you know it's not going to kill my back. Nice sturdy aluminium case I can carry it without uh, you know aching my arm. Um, but mainly it's going to be um, in the trailer when I cycle up the woods for the weekend or out for the day with a radio. Right, thanks for watching YouTube. It's just a little quick update, work in progress, um, just to avoid using candles. Candles everywhere, but you know, why use candles when I can just pull this out and run a load of neon lights, or LED lights, and these things light up a room a lot better than any candle will. And I can run um, four of them with obviously a USB adapter. Uh, we'll come back to you when it's got a fully charged and uh, I've done some full tests on it, but going from experience and what I've seen you know, other people are using these battery packs. They, it'll run a radio for a few hours. You know, probably get the best part of a day out of it. Um, so, you know, you know, obviously charging my phone two or three times a day. No problem at all. Um, but, right. See if I can get it all away one-handed. Everything's in plastic bags. There's no live terminals in there. Everything's taped up and block connected. But, you know, extra safety. Plus it stops them from getting tangled up. Um, keep it neat, keep it tidy. That's basically it, really. I have got the keys, but there's just no point locking it. But if I was with the kids camping, I probably would lock it so they don't start pulling wires apart. And that's it. It's so much lighter now. It's unbelievable how lighter it is. Um, just, just a box with a push button, little voltmeter, um, 12 volt, 12 volt outlet. And uh, I saw a trickle charger, 12 volt trickle charger. It's not a charger or anything, um, but it you know it does charge those bigger batteries in about a day, and it does keep a car battery topped up. Use these for several different things, and I can just plug that in the front and charge it. Uh, the switch, it's just nothing. I've just got a load of household electrical stuff scattered around the desk. Um, so that's it, really. Uh, that's my little update. Um, hopefully I'll be out next weekend um, up the woods dying to get out and try this uh, new uh, gasifier stove I've just made and obviously try this out it'd be nice to have like unlimited power um, but we'll see how we get on right, uh, catch you later um, please like, share, subscribe and um, check out my main channel for links to my um, Facebook group UK Shit at the Fan Preppers if you're watching this on the prepper side of things